Hey guys, in this video I'm going to share with you a way I discovered to set up my miter saw to get very accurate angled cuts. Now, some of you may already be doing this, so go easy on me in the comments. But for those of you who are like me, who haven't been, I think you'll find this very helpful. Here's how it's done. I was working on some X-braces the other day using the app I created called Miter Angle. If you haven't picked up my app yet, I'll leave links in the description. If you already have it, you know that it gives you the angles you need to cut down to a tenth of a degree. Very accurate. Well, the difficulty in setting up your saw for that precise of a cut is that most saws only allow you to adjust the blade in one degree increments. Some I've seen go down to half a degree. My saw has one degree increments, so if I need to cut a 24.3 degree angle, for example, I have to line it up somewhere between 24 and 25 degrees. With it being a little closer to the 24 degree side, using my eye to judge how close it is. Now in my video, The Ultimate Guide to Building X Braces, I show you what I call my double H and double T technique to compensate for the lack of preciseness so you can get that perfect fit. But recently I stumbled upon an easier way while I was tuning my saw's 90 degree and beveled angles. And it was with a tool I already had, a digital angle finder. This one displays angles down to a tenth of a degree. So there are a couple of ways to use it to dial your saw's angle down to a tenth of a degree. First, make sure your saw is unplugged and verify that the blade is 90 degrees from the fence when locked in the zero position. Here's method number one. Make sure the arms of the angle finder are all the way closed and even with each other, then turn it on and adjust it to 90 degrees. Once it's at 90 degrees, turn the angle finder off and then back on, being careful not to move the arms at all. The reading will now be zero. To verify the arms didn't move, close the angle finder's arms together again and the reading should be 90 degrees. If not, try again. If it is at 90 degrees, then set your saw blade to the angle you need to cut. Let's use my previous example of 24.3 degrees. Get as close as you can. Now place the angle finder flush up against both the fence and the saw blade. With the blade's adjuster arm unlocked, gently tap on it in the direction it needs to go while maintaining equal pressure against both arms of the angle finder. You will see the angle change by a tenth as you tap. Once at your desired angle, in my case 24.3 degrees, lock the adjuster arm in place and you're ready to cut. Here's method number two. If you want to skip most of the above steps, you can just turn on the angle finder, being sure both arms are even with each other beforehand, Place it against your fence and saw blade, and then tap the blade adjuster arm until it reads 90 plus your desired degree cut. So to get the 24.3 degree cut, the blade would be adjusted until the angle finder reads 114.3 degrees. Either way, you get the same angled cut. Whichever is easier for you to use, go for it. So there you go guys, easy way to get accurate angles. Don't forget to look in the description for the links to my app, Miter Angle, and go start building stuff.